I warned you about. You won't make money. You won't deal with the consequences. Ain't no way to get around that. Where's your man at? What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love snowfall, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today we're going to be talking about Snowfall Season 5. Will Kevin's brother be a problem for Franklin? That is the topic of discussion. Of course, this week we have some new casting news for Snowfall Season 5. Today we're going to just focus on Kevin's brother, played by Devon Nixon. And he's going to be Kevin's brother. Now, the description for his character reads, Nixon will play... Kane Hamilton, a powerful ex-con who used to be a member of the neighborhood, almost like an older brother to Franklin and Leon, and an actual older brother to Kevin, Malcolm Mays. So we know that Kevin's brother is going to be getting out, and some issues just may happen. It just may happen, especially after your boy Franklin, he had to take out his best friend. He had to take out Kevin um, in season two now. He didn't have the intentions to kill Kevin. It just happened. You know what I'm saying? He was trying to stop a huge war and it all went bad. It went bad and it was not looking too good for Franklin. We know he was locked up, but we know that your boy Teddy was able to get him out and work his magic. This is where Franklin realized like, okay, Teddy, he ain't who he say he is. He has more power and I believe that he's working for the government, but Besides all that, we got Kevin's brother Kane entering the picture. And anybody named Kane in history alone of TV and in real life, usually they crazy. So I'm thinking that Kevin's brother is going to be definitely crazy. Um, it does seem, since they're saying that he was like a brother to Leon and Franklin, it does seem like Leon and Franklin will have that respect for him. I mean, we're talking about Franklin. This dude gets out. Franklin is not going to be trying to go back and forth with this dude. He's not trying to go to war with this dude. I believe Franklin is going to try to neutralize him and just be cool. Probably, you know, hook him up. Probably, will, you know, will work with him. It just depends on how this dude is, right? That's what Franklin would do just to show his respect because that's the type of person that he is. He does not want to go to war. He's shown us this time and time again. But we know what type of Franklin we saw at the end of season four. The dude just hit a switch. He's not messing around anymore. But even though he's not messing around, I still think that Franklin will have a sense of respect and say, man, you know, I know what happened with me and your brother. I don't want to go to war and do anything like that with you. Now, that doesn't mean that Kane ain't going to want to go to war. This dude can get out and go lunatic, right? Would that be the best option for him to do that? To be honest, Kane better not do that because if he does, it's just a matter of time before he is, you know, laying next to his brother. And that's just fact. So if this old head, he gets out acting crazy, y'all, y'all already know it's going to end bad. Now, what we can't do is underestimate Kane's character. I mean, just because he's getting out probably doesn't seem like he has a lot of power, but you just never know what these small characters can do. I always tell you guys that y'all saw for example, y'all saw what your girl Khadija did last season. A small character, but man, didn't she raise hell last season? Khadija wasn't playing around, right? And she was a small character, and that was her only season. She pops up, and, you know, she pretty much was a threat for, I would say, half of the season, right? A little bit more than half. Khadija was not playing around. So with somebody like this, Franklin, I believe he's going to play it smart. He's not going to overreact. He just has to watch what this dude is doing because you don't know what he's going to be plotting and planning. I mean, he can get out and act like everything is cool, but we know he can have an agenda. He can just be trying to get closer and closer. Even if he does not do anything to Franklin, he may try to do things to other people that's surrounded by Franklin. So he has to be very smart. I just want to see how this all is going to play out. I mean, you kill his brother. He gets out. And, you know, you had a history with this guy. Y'all looked up to him like an older brother. And he gets out. Now, you're going to have to figure out a way to work with this dude. 
Whereas y'all ain't beefing because it's going to be a hard explanation in my eyes. I mean, Franklin will tell him, look, I didn't want to do it, but it is what it is. I tried to stop a war. And like I said, guys, we know Franklin did not want to kill um, your boy, Kevin. It just happened. You know, it hit a bad spot and he was gone. I mean, it was so crazy when he shot him. I was like, man, they, they playing around. He ain't die. He ain't die. I did not believe it. I'm like, there's no way he did not die. They just faking it. They just trying to get um, Franklin to confess or something. They trying to get some information from him. But when he actually was gone, I'm like, really? I could not believe it. But things like that happen. You know what I'm saying? You hit the wrong spot. It's all over for you, man. But I just wanted to make the video. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to talk about the new Snowfall characters. We're going to talk about the other two characters as well in separate videos. Just trying to give each character, you know, their own time to shine. But you guys let me know. What do you think about Kane coming to Snowfall? Do you think he will be out there to seek revenge? Or will he just play it cool and just try to, of course, you know, get this money and just roll with this business? We're going to find out very, very soon, man. Snowfall Season 5 will be coming out next year. I mean, we got so many different shows popping up. All these people are busy. It's good to see all this work. I can't wait to discuss it with you guys in the near future. But thank you guys once again for all the love, all the support. And I will catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.